Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change font color based on certain values in cells. Now, I did do a similar video to this about three to four weeks ago, where I showed you guys how you can highlight cells that are greater than or less than um, certain values. All right, so I'll put a I'll put a link to that video in the description below, just in case if you missed it. Um, but in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically change the font color of text based on certain values. So let's look at my spreadsheet here. So if we look at column C, you can see I've got Q1 sales figures, all right, for each sales agent. And then in column E, I've got the sales target percentage achieved for that quarter, okay, for each agent. So the target basically is around $10,000. Um, so what I did was I've just used a simple formula to work out the target percentage achieved for each sales agent. Now, what I want to do is I want to um, change the font color of the percentages based on two categories. So the first one is um, any percentages between zero to 50%, I want that to change to the font color um, red. And then anything between 50 to 100%, I want that font color to be in green. Okay, now you can have you know, more categories if you want, but I'm just going to show you two. So in order to do that, what you would do is you will first highlight the cells, or in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the whole row where you want to apply the formatting. You would then go up to the Home tab, um, and then you would go to the Styles group, okay, and then click on Conditional Formatting. Now, what you would do here is you would go down, and select new rule. So we're gonna we're gonna create a rule for this, and this will take you into the new formatting rule dialog box. And you'll see um, various rule types here, but the one that you want to go for is a second one called format only cells that contain. So if you click on that rule, the rule description will appear at the bottom. Okay, which is where you can edit the description, the rule. Um, so if you look at the rule here, it says format only cells with cell value between, and then you need to put in the values. So my first category, as I mentioned, is 0% and 50%. Now note here, I've put the percentage symbol in there. Okay, so that's important that you put the symbol in, otherwise this won't work properly. You then need to apply the font color. So you would click on the format option. You would then go to the font tab. Okay. And then under the color section there, you would just click on the drop down and simply select your color. So for this one, it will be red. So I'm just going to select red and then you would click OK. That will take you back into the formatting rule box. Um, so to confirm, you would just click OK again. OK, and there you go. It's now changed the font color of all the percentages between 0 and 50%. So that's how you do it. Um, and for the second category, um, you would do exactly the same. So again, just highlight the whole column, go back up to conditional formatting, go down to new rule, Okay, and you're literally just following the same steps. So you would select the second rule here, which is format only cells that contain. And then you would put in your second set of values. So this time it's 50%. So format only cells with cell value between 50% and 100%. We would then click on format, select the font tab, and then under color, you would select the green color in this case. So I'm just going to go for green and then you would click OK. Okay, so that would take you back into the formatting rule dialog box and then you would just click OK to confirm. And there you go. Okay, so now it's changed the font color of all the percentages between 50 to 100 percent to a green color. Okay, and that's how you do it. Now, 
what you'll see is if I change any of those percentages, so if I change, say, this 28% to, uh, actually, there's a formula in, so I'll have to change that um, in this field, okay, because that's the Q1 sales figures and that's what's included in the formula. So if I change that to, um, let's change that to 8,050, okay, that will, of course, increase the target to 81%, and you can see it's also changed the font color. All right, so that was it. Um, this is basically, this video is part of the conditional formatting playlist, so I'll add this video into that playlist as well. Um, so I hope that's helped. If it has, please do like and share the video um, and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on new videos. Um, and I'll shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.